You gotta have it. You gotta have it. You gotta have knowledge for knowledge for life. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. You gotta have knowledge for knowledge for life. You gotta have it. government is wrong and it needs to change and if it will not change then we need to get rid of it and put in a government that will guarantee the american people life liberty and the pursuit of happiness guaranteed by the constitution you're talking about democrats one of which who's running for president who lives in your very neighborhood what do you think of him i like him very much i'm not saying that i'm going to vote for him but I like him because he's fresh. He doesn't come with a lot of the baggage that those in politics that have been in politics and been corrupted almost, or not almost, corrupted by it, sold out to the moneyed interests, sold out to the multinational corporations, sold out to the international bankers. So when you look at Bush, you think you're looking at the president? There's another power behind him. When you look at Blair, you think you're looking at the, the, the prime minister, you, there's another power behind him. When you look at Merkel in Germany, you think you're looking at the head of state, but there's another power behind these people. And the powers that are, are dogging the whole world are the international bankers that finance both sides of a conflict. Do you think that Barack Obama is the answer to George Bush? No. I think he's capable of being an answer. But the powers that contend with presidents, I'll go back to President Jimmy Carter. When he was a governor running for the presidency, he saw UFOs. And he said when he became president, he was going to open the file, which is secret held by the government. When he got in office, we didn't hear any more from him. People say things when they're running because they don't know the powers that really control the house that they're going to live in. And that's why Barack Obama is clean. He's, he's fresh. But the powers are eating at him right now. The powers that want to control him are at him right now. And how can he get to be president unless he raises a hundred million dollars? And who of the poor people have a hundred million dollars to give him? And who will provide him with the money so he can contend with Mrs. Clinton and her big bank or Giuliani and McCain and their growing bank? So the people that bankroll you, they're the ones that ultimately call the tune. So what are so, you saying? I'm saying that no matter who sits in the White House, if you don't uproot the structure that corrupts them, you still don't have a president. You have a figurehead. And frankly, that's why I say America needs a regime change. And just like you have to go into the floor when there's pipes underneath it that break and bust, you've got to uproot what's under the government of the United States of America or the American people will never have what the Constitution guarantees. Do you think Barack Obama can do that? No. Absolutely not. He's a good person. And he's looking at this thing with the beautiful heart, the beautiful eye of a beautiful person. He doesn't, he knows some of the ugliness of politics because he's been in it long enough. But the real wickedness of the face of politics, you're looking right into the face of Satan himself. Give me that piece, so. though. The so-called American Negro have to be completely re-educated. Yeah, yeah. And the condition that he is now in, he's not fit 
for sale. Uh-huh. If I had a hundred sheep and one of them got away, I would leave the 99, go find you the one. You have to be completely uh, made over again. And Satan doesn't intend to be uprooted by an upstart from Chicago or Miss Clinton from New York. Satan is the boss. This is his world. And he can only be uprooted by the one that is anointed with power to uproot Satan. And that is the Mahdi or the Christ that comes into the world. Then who can do it? Who can uproot that? I just right? said it. But, who? but you don't. None of these. These are victims of satanic influence. Religion is controlled by Satan. That's why religion is ineffective. The divisions in the Muslim world, that's satanic. Muslim killing Muslim? Muslim bombing another mosque of a Muslim? If they did, that's un-Islamic. We've become so insane because of injustice. If we strap a bomb on ourselves and go kill another human being that didn't bother you, this is madness. And that's why the Mahdi or the Christ must come into the world to clean up religion. Because the church's garment is dirty and it needs washing. The bridegroom is coming and the bride has dirtied her garment with adultery because she's gotten in bed with the world.